It is pretty unusual. It's called the Lake Breeze Motor. That's how it was marketed. It first came out in 1919. Its original price was, I think, $22.50. It actually functions by uh, a hot air engine. And what happens is, when you light the wick and the kerosene lamp, the hot air pushes through a turbine that then turns a shaft that ultimately turns this fan. Of course, what happened, and this is coming out in 1919, was electricity, it, it kind of lost the battle, and electric fans really won out as everybody had electricity in their houses. Not to mention the fact that having a, a hot you know, flame blowing in your house while it was hot out wasn't quite the, uh, a smart thing. Right. So it kind of went the way of a lot of other early technology. Uh, the good news is that since it kind of fell out of favor, it became very scarce. So these are pretty rare on the market right now. Yeah. A fan like this to a collector is probably somewhere in the $1,500, $2,000 range. And that's a great example of how there's still a lot of early fun technology out there that collectors can still purchase. Now, we're going to give it a shot and see if we can get it going. Okay. And see if you can see uh, if it really does yeah. still work. No, nope. so far so good. Yes. Give it a little push. There it goes. There it goes. We have a cheese fan, so. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so it's cooling and it's heating at the same time. <laughs> I'm more